Hi everyone and welcome to Boston Auto Blog. Today I'm going to take a look at the 2018 Ford Edge. But first, I'd like to thank Muzzy Ford and Needham, Massachusetts for allowing me to do this review. Before getting started, in front of me are both the SE and Titanium trims to get a more in-depth look at this crossover. And so, without wasting any further time, let's get right into it. The 2018 Ford Edge is no stranger to high praise, as it recently won the 2018 Best Turo SUV for the Money Award for having the best combination of quality and value in its class by US News & World Report. The Edge also boasts a 5-star crash safety rating, which may be attributing to a recent surge in popularity. With the unveiling of the Edge ST earlier this year, this crossover is just about ready to appeal to a wide range of consumers. Taking a look at the existing trims, Ford is already positioning the Edge to be the sporty crossover in the lineup, while also providing entry-level luxury, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes when we step inside the Titanium. For performance, the Edge will get a turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder EcoBoost engine that gets 245 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque, and is paired with the 6-speed automatic transmission, with paddle shifters coming standard. This engine is available on all trims, but will be your only option on the SE model. If the 4-cylinder EcoBoost engine isn't enough, a 3.5-liter V6 engine that puts out 280 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque is optional for both the SEL and Titanium trims. While not present in this review, the Edge Sport will get a twin-turbocharged 2.7-liter V6 that gets 315 horsepower. For drivetrain options, front-wheel drive comes standard, with Ford's intelligent all-wheel drive being optional. When it comes to fuel economy, you can expect to receive 20 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway. Taking a look inside the SE, you're greeted by cloth seats that are manually adjustable for both the driver and passenger. While you would expect to see at least a power seat for the driver on a vehicle with a base price of $29,000, seat height and front view vision is good enough where that's not a major issue. You'll get a push button start and a rear backup camera, along with a 7-inch LCD monitor. Because the SE comes with the Ford Sync system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility are not available, but you will get Bluetooth audio streaming and voice-activated music search and playback. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are offered as an optional package on the SEL and come standard on the titanium trim. In front of you, you'll get a digital information display that shows fuel economy statistics and tire pressure. From here, you can turn off traction control and scroll through a number of settings and options. As mentioned before, paddle shifters do come standard on the Edge, which really does give you the sense that it's more sporty than the Escape. Moving down the center console, it's simplistic, but what I do like is that the buttons aren't cluttered together. For the titanium trim, this is where significant upgrades are included, with some of these features being optional for the SCL. This particular model we have for this review comes with the 301A package, which adds heated and ventilated power adjustable leather trim seats with perforated inserts for both the driver and passenger, heated rear seats, a panoramic Vista roof, a voice-activated touchscreen navigation system, and Sirius XM traffic. Also coming standard on the titanium trim is Ford's Sync 3 system, which provides Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Unlike on the SE, the Titanium will get a power liftgate, and inside you'll find 39 cubic feet of cargo room, and with the seats folded down, that space will nearly double in size to 73 cubic feet. Taking a quick look at the 8-inch touchscreen display, from here you can access your dual-zone climate control settings and the heated and ventilation feature for the front seats. Optional for the Ford Edge is a 180-degree front camera with a split screen to assist in parking to go along with your rear backup camera. That can be made available if you purchase the 302A package, which has a number of safety features like blind spot detection and forward collision warning to name a few. Also from your touchscreen is the navigation system. Controlled by voice activation, 
It's a hands-free system, which is perfect if you're on the road and don't have time to pull over and set your destination manually. As we look down the center console, the layout differs greatly with the volume control for your 12-speaker Sony sound system being in the middle, with your dual-zone clamp controls and buttons for the heated and ventilated front seats being found at the bottom. For the center storage compartment, you'll have a tray for your smartphone, and additional storage space for small items. You'll also find a 12-volt outlet. For passengers in the back, they'll sit comfortably during a road trip with heated leather seats. And above them is the panoramic vista roof that brings in a lot of natural light and just really opens up the cabin, making it feel less cramped and claustrophobic. Overall, the Ford Edge is a good crossover. The available safety technology, comfort features, understated performance if you opt for the sport trim, and luxurious aspects at a price around $40,000 is why the Edge is held in such a high regard. If the titanium is a little too far out of your budget, the SEL trim offers the panoramic Vista roof, Ford Sync 3 system, and heated leather seats among additional safety features as optional equipment for around $35,000. Once again, I'd like to thank Muzzy Ford for allowing me to review the 2018 Ford Edge. Their link will be in the description below, so you can check out their extensive Ford inventory. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.